hey uh hey you want to come over here and let me show you how to play copyrighted music on your stream and not get dmca'd because i'm not gonna do that that's you can't do that oh my god <laughs> this sweater is hot all right now that we've gotten that hot sweater off hello happy day to you all my name is james I am a stream tinkerer here on YouTube, and uh, you may also find me on Twitch as the Asian Slick Slayer. I've provided some timestamps below if you want to click to the various topics we're going to talk about today, so you can get in and out and back to streaming as quickly as possible. The uh, topic is, if you haven't seen from the, uh, the picture or the title, we're going to talk about Twitch and DMCA, and we're not going to talk about how to play copyrighted music because you can't do that. But uh, we are going to talk about some alternatives you can do. So ps, grab some popcorn and uh, this will probably be a pretty quick video, but I appreciate your time anyways. And let's get into it. <laughs> All right. So the first method, which everyone will probably be doing at least half of this is basically to never play music ever again. And everything you've worked hard to do all of your history, you know, awesome memories on Twitch. You basically have to delete them. Your VODs, your clips, your highlights, you're going to have to delete them. At least where the ones that are you either are unsure have music on them or no have music on them. You're going to have to delete them because there's no way for you to make it private. There is no way to protect you from the past. These DMCA uh, copyrights or these DMCA strikes are are going as far back as as four years eight years you know whatever uh, they're going back a long time because there's programs that have been created that can just go right into your profile and pick everything up everything the best way on twitch that twitch has provided for i'm sorry i'm sorry twitch hasn't provided for you a way to do this so you're gonna have to do it yourself is go through and delete all of your stuff or at least remove it from twitch i believe you can download some options there are some things you can download manually through the twitch ui and there are some apps that people are developing right now to help you download your stuff so that you don't have to go through this uh maybe someday i'll find that and and make a video about it yeah the best method is to to you know Make sure you turn all the music off in your games. <laughs> Never play music again, and then have a pretty quiet stream or fill it up with talking. That's another option. Um, another option, this one actually created by Twitch is called Soundtrack by Twitch. I believe it's now available world to creators worldwide <clears throat> as of October 19th. Um, but it's not perfect. It's not, in fact, it's, I would avoid this probably <laughs> they've made their own playlist and the, and i guess what happens is artists will post you know songs on there um for twitch to play and it's unskippable and you could still get dmca <clears throat> the reason for this is how uh, copyright works i guess there's three copyrights that you need to get in order to play the music on your on your property or on your creation uh you need a masters you need a public performance and you need a mechanical um the reason you can't skip any songs and soundtrack is because they don't have the mechanical the reason you still get the dmca because they don't have the masters they just have a public performance uh license don't know why they did this facebook gaming actually has bought in full copyright licenses all three or various songs and, and, and artists to be played on their streaming platform. Facebook spent the money so their streamers don't have to stream at risk and still have entertaining music. Why Twitch didn't do this? I don't know, we have a billion theories, right? We don't have all day though. So as of right now, Twitch soundtrack only has a public performance uh, license, I believe, so it's unskippable. So you have to listen to the whole song, even if it sucks. I don't know how the library quality is, but I'm guessing it's going to be a lot of lo-fi stuff. I haven't used it myself because I don't want to get DMCA'd. Um, 
And they don't pay their artists with money. They pay their artists with exposure. Try taking exposure to Starbucks to get a latte. No, I don't think they're gonna... Who are you? That's what they're gonna say. So it's kind of a, a half measure by, by Twitch. They're trying, but they could do better. It, don't, don't use it uh, until it gets better. And if you want any information, um, I, I watch a lot of Devin Nash on YouTube. And this is, you know, he has a very extensive video about DMCA's, a, a couple of them. Um, a lot of resources too. Well, more resources than I could provide because he knows a lot of it. He knows a lot of it. I don't know a lot of it. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a, you know, guy who knows anything about this record label stuff. I just know the tools that I use to protect myself. Um, I've learned from Devin Nash. And so go check him out. His videos are really long. I'm just sort of hoping maybe I can make a 10 minute video about this stuff. Help the people that are new to my channel. If you are new, hit that subscribe button. Help the people that are new uh, to learn about this stuff as well or, or find out the tools that I'm using. All right, so the next one that I've just discovered is Owned Music. Uh, if you're not familiar, Owned does like Twitch overlays and stream designs and they have basically everything you could do with your Twitch channel uh, artistically wise, like, you know, pictures and all that stuff. They have it. They even have alert sounds and all that stuff as you can see in the, in the picture. So they've gone ahead and made their own copyright free music that's available on uh, Spotify, iTunes, and, and YouTube. So you can play these things in the background. Since they own the music themselves, not a record label or anything like that, they own the copyright. And they say it's going to be free for, for streamers for a long time. So that's one option. I, I listened to a couple of their songs. It's a lot of lo-fi stuff, small, you know, album right now, small library of songs. It's, it's, it's actually pretty good um, if you're into that sort of mood. I do enjoy it. I'll probably listen to a lot more of these uh, at work. I like to listen to lo-fi when I take a nap between, you know, during my lunchtime. Uh, and it's it's quite enjoyable. It's quite enjoyable. Um, I see, I don't see any issues with this just because of, of how they're doing it. But I have not used it myself. Um, and I have not really heard about anyone else really talking about it either. Because there's a lot of playlists that are copyright free. My concern is DMCA uh, or a, a people that do DMCA claims, they can actually come in and purchase these copyright free music or make a copyright free playlist and slip one in there, right? To, to get you to play copyrighted music on your stream or YouTube channel or whatever in order to DMCA you. They're coming after everyone. They are sharks and they want to get that money. So protect yourself. Uh, the next one that I do, the next one that I'd like to talk about is Pretzel Rocks. This is the one I use. This is one I use. I used it for free for a very long time and then I finally jumped into the paid subscription which was I believe $5 a month. And it's pretty cool. The, the user interface is kind of like a Pandora. I don't know if you've experienced Pandora. You select a genre of music or maybe a song that you've liked, and then you make a radio station from that of, of copyright-free music that fits into that same category and just kind of plays through. It just plays through. They have a Discord also available, so I'm going to leave the links to these websites below. Um, so you can go to their Discord. You can, you know, if you get claimed or, or muted or anything, you can go there and, and get help with that. And, and they're very supportive and very cool. They're very cool. I like their stuff. Problem is, and cool for me, but for the new users, they're upgrading their user interface and it's going to become more of like a Spotify type app. What that means is you'll be able to select all these genres. You'll be able to select artists. You'll be able to select albums. Like it's, it's, it's going to be very detailed and, and the library is huge. It is huge. And I am so happy to see this. Um, and it's pretty cool, but it's $14 a month. <laughs> so a lot of people may not jump on that. You know, if you're a professional streamer, you know, you're probably not watching this YouTube channel, <laughs> but you're probably going to be paying for services like this. 
but unfortunately they are not uh, free. There, there is a free version, but, but the full blown version that I use is not free. There is a paywall there. So the experience from user to user won't be the same. Now what will be the same is Stream Beats by Harris Heller. Uh, they have a few different genres. It's free on, you know, wherever you play music, Spotify, iTunes, YouTube. Uh, and what's really cool is he also has a Discord, uh, Alpha Gaming. Um, if you're not familiar with Harris Heller, he does the Alpha Gaming channel. He has a Discord called Alpha Gaming. And in there, he has the, I guess, the material to say how, why you can play this music, like the copyright license material, as well as all the songs in there can be downloaded and added to your YouTube videos if you want, or however you want to use it. Basically, you don't need an, a, to use Spotify to listen to stream beats because you can go in there and get the file it's freaking cool it's freaking cool i use this for all my youtube videos and i think it's really awesome i mean look at this out of all of the all of the pages we've looked at they have the coolest like website <laughs> this is a lot like owned so owned music and stream beats are they're very similar in the fact that they've hired artists to make music or they make music themselves and they put it on Spotify. The way they get paid is through plays on Spotify. And it, yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I dig it. I really like it. It's probably my favorite option. And once I'm done with Pretzel, if I don't get grandfathered in after a year, I think that's when my, my $5 a month expires. Um, I will probably just exclusively use Stream Beats. And what's cool is Stream Beats is also on Pretzel Rocks, so. All right, I hope that helps. I hope this points you in the right direction. Like I said, Alpha Gaming Channel, Harris Heller, Stream Beats. Uh, he talks about this stuff a lot. Devin Nash goes into great detail and I've learned a lot from his videos. Check out those two uh, YouTubers. They're really awesome. Those, that, that's, when I say stream tinkerer, that I can do things and tinker and do all this cool stuff. They are, you know, what I consider like coaches or or, or, or stream, you know, teachers because <laughs> they really know their stuff. They're experienced. I've been doing this for three years and I've, I feel like I've just cracked the surface on a lot of things. I get asked a lot of questions, so that's why I make these videos. And if it's helped you, subscribe, like, comment below. Tell me, how can I help you make these videos? What are you interested in, you know, to learn? Um, maybe I'll make another video about maybe the topic you've given me. So other than that, guys, keep on tinkering out there and I'll see you next time. Bye. Pull you back.